Oh, welcome to spring cut day number three. Um, today we're going to be hitting some chest, um, strictly chest pump. I know first day I did it on my split, I had just upper body. Um, so that was a variation of me hitting um, arms, shoulders, um, tries. But today we're going to focus mainly just on the chest. And if you guys didn't notice, um, big upgrade to the channel. Uh, I got some mics, so um, I notice sometimes in my workout when I'm trying to explain what I'm doing and a technique I'm doing it, um, while, or technique while I'm doing it, I can't really talk because the camera's 15 feet away. It's not going to pick up what I'm saying. Um, so especially having it on me, I'm not, I don't have to talk as loud. Um, I can kind of just talk to myself like at a reasonable volume and kind of explain throughout the workout what I'm doing. Um, I think it's going to be helpful for you know, maybe some people that don't go to the gym at all and they're watching these videos, trying to get into it, and they, you know, might learn a thing or two. I don't consider myself a veteran at all. I've been working out for a total of two years now. So compared to some people that, you know, lifted throughout of all high school or um, been lifting for several years now, I'm nowhere near them. But I still think of as a knowledgeable um, gym goer, so... Even even if you know some stuff, you may learn something. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, today we're going to hit some chests. We're going to throw down the Smurf juice. Um, and we're going to get it going, man. All right, man. You're on the way to get the pump. We're going to get the pump, whether anybody likes it or not. We do <laughs> I just don't, I don't know if there's anything more comparable than, oh, I almost ran over a bunny, bruh. All right. We are going to hit some flies um, just to warm up the chest, get a good Pump in. Yeah, that felt good. All right, we're done with the warm up. Let's go hit the Smith machine downstairs and uh, and try to get a good incline. Um, and then we're gonna hit decline after that. And then take it from there, see what we're gonna do after that. All right, man. This right here is a sin. If you leave three 25s on the machine after you leave, you're going to hell. Holy shit, dude. I mean, the amount of times I see this shit at this in particular gym, people just fucking leaving their shit. Holy fuck, dude. And especially 325s. Bro, load, load up fucking 245s. Like, what is the point of doing that? It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. People, I don't know, dude. It's a lot of weird shit I'd be seeing. Yeah, I think somebody's using the Smith machine. So, we're gonna do this instead and then head over to the Smith. on the smith machine they just fucking left their fucking weights on here it's number two dude a 45 and 225 <laughs> just doesn't fucking make sense oh, fucking just take off the weights if you can put them on you can fucking take them off dude oh 
Holy shit. I'm not trying to be fucking the gym police, but... It isn't hard, dude. If I can do it, anybody can fucking do it. Ooh. And that's still failure, man. Ooh. That felt good. Can't be afraid of that shit, man. I'm gonna be real honest, bro. I don't know if I'm gonna hit this shit by eight or six, but this is fucking grip but that's why they got some fucking chalk we're gonna hit decline and then some cables and then cardio and then we'll be done So this is gonna be the, the finisher. Um, we're gonna start with the highest, and then go down and finish it off. And it should be, we should have a destroyed chest at that point. That we can feel happy about our chest there. Um, need to find the fucking attachment for it. Though. Mm. I don't know, we definitely gotta go heavier than that. That shit felt way too light. If we wanna burn out the muscle, you can't underestimate yourself, man. You gotta. It's the only way you're gonna become stronger is do some shit that at the beginning you might not think you can do, and if you fail, you fucking fail, dude. Who gives a fuck? middle now you want to do these quick too you don't want to really get a big rest in so you really want to shock the muscle
Whew. That's fucking all she wrote, dude. Oh man, that was a good, solid chest day. We're gonna go ahead and change into the running shoes. Um, get our cardio done so we can get out of here. But I definitely, the whole workout, I could have definitely went heavier, but it's just the fact that I hit upper two days ago and I, I put some chest in there. I didn't realize how sore I was gonna get from that, but we still had a pretty good pump. Um, I think we did good. We hit everything I really wanted to hit, but let's get this cardio so we can go ahead and eat our fucking food. <clears throat> that was a good chest day. We did some posing. Um, not to get all inspirational on y'all, but like when I started going to this fucking gym, dude, or just gym in general, dude, I was behind every single person that started with me, you know? Um, and just because I never really worked out that much in high school, I still am behind most people that, you know, were at least semi athletic in high school that worked out. Dude, I didn't do shit. And that's why I think this whole journey is going to be unique to especially people like you there, like watching and like you're watching me from the ground up going up. You know, most people that are like doing this, this gym influencing and, and doing this YouTube shit, they're already at their most likely their peak. Like they're already fucking huge, dude. You know, considering that, like, I feel like it's going to be really fucking fun to watch this, at least for me, like just documenting myself because, you know, I don't have the genetics. I didn't start out ripped. I don't have a ripped body at all whatsoever. Um, I'm pretty high in body fat, even though I dropped 25 pounds. Um, so it's just, I just think it's going to be really cool to, you know, watch me um, go on this journey. And I always get down on myself because I see people, you know, either pushing more weight than me or they just look bigger than me. And I forget, like, I've only been working out really hard for a year. I started the first year just trying to learn like what to do. Like I literally didn't even know certain exercises. So first year was a learning experience. All right, I got everything. I didn't really push myself ever. It was more of me just like feeling the weights. This last year is really when I like, all right, I got all the techniques down. Let me try to push myself, get the weight up, hit PRs in there, hit before. Like I hit 275 my second year of lifting ever. Like I really got to pat myself on the back, even though at my age, it doesn't look that good because a lot of 23 year olds that have been lifting for three, four years, they're already pushing fucking 315 or, you know, they're deadlifting a lot more. Um, but we're not gonna let that shit get, get us down. Um, even though I'm being discouraged because of I'm considerably weaker than other people, I'm still gonna go, I'm still going, I'm still working. I'm not letting that shit get me down. So. I think everybody really needs to, you know, take that into consideration. No matter like what anybody else is pushing compared to you, you shouldn't let that influence. Like I'm, I don't give a fuck what people think. Like I've had my whole ass tripod downstairs doing my workouts, and you know people are gonna look at you crazy. They look at me crazy. Like what is this guy doing? Who does he think he is? But you, like I'm not in my head. What I'm thinking is I am not gonna let that person's opinion affect how I'm gonna live my life. If I wanna set up my fucking tripod and I'm not in your way, I'm gonna do it. I am not gonna let another person's thought and bad look on me affect me, point blank period. And you just gotta run through life like a fucking bulldozer, man. You gotta be like a fucking rhino in this bitch. Cause if you're like a gazelle that's just leaping through this shit, boy, you're going straight to the lions. Um, but that's it, we're gonna go get the sauna and then I'll probably see you all in the car. All right, we are done. Um, we just hit the sauna for about 15 minutes per usual. Now, I'm gonna surprise you guys with this one. I know it's only the third day of the spring cut, but I'm thinking about eating something, ex something exotic tonight. I think I'm feeling something that's like really out of the ordinary. Um, so we're going to go with the chicken and broccoli, um, and that should get us right 
Um, get our protein in. Dude, I'm hot. I'm gonna roll down the fucking window. Hopefully, I think that might fuck up the mic, but... I also want to start cussing a little bit less in my videos. Um, I know I might have some family members watching this. Um, some below 18, under 18 individuals. Um, but one thing I want to say about my foul mouth is... Um, as you guys know, most of you guys follow me. And you know that I'm in the military. And unfortunately, it's pretty much integrated in the culture where cuss words really hold no value as they do with people that are in the civilian world. Um, so I'm, it's just like, I'm kind of desensitized to it. So almost like it's natural. It's just in my vocabulary now where it's like, I don't even mean to say it. It just comes out. And that's like how I express myself. So um, I'll try to do it less. But at the end of the day, it's just who I am. And like, if you, you know, if you want to judge me and judge who I am as a person based on the type of language I use, especially if I'm not using around children or anything, I'm just by myself recording myself, you know, that's on you, dude. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you, but I'm not going to record my meal. You guys know what I'm eating. Broccoli and rice. It's already been a pretty long video. Um, so we're going to throw that down. Um, and we're going to end off the day here. It was a good little chest day. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able, be able to upload tomorrow, but uh, we'll see. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. See you in the next one.